Well, just 24 hours ago, we were reporting that Laura Kelly would become the next governor of Kansas. And tonight, in a story you'll only see here, we find out what happens next by asking the man who knows. Governor Jeff Collier agreed to speak with only us in a one on one interview. And he sat down with KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Hannah Brandt in the first and only interview he's given since Kelly was elected last night. Hannah, what did he tell you? Well, Brooke and Jace, Governor Collier told me that Laura Kelly visited him this morning here at the Capitol, and he says that he congratulated her on her win and even started clearing out some office space for her. A major win for Democrat Laura Kelly last night as she beat out Secretary of State Chris Kobach for the job as Kansas's next governor. I'm honored to lead this magnificent state, and I'm thankful. <laughs> I am so thankful to each and every one of you. Now tonight, celebrate. Tomorrow, let's get to work. And that's exactly what she did today, starting by meeting at the Capitol with current Governor Jeff Collier. I talked to Collier about that transition between both leaders and parties. This is an orderly transition of power, and I think that that is one of the great things of a democracy. And that even though we may disagree with someone, we're going to do this in a very professional way, and I think this is really setting a tone of we're going to be professional, competent, getting things done. Governor Collier passed along binders full of information about the job, and he says he also offered the governor-elect some advice. Listen to the Kansans. And listen to them, serve them, and try to achieve their goals uh, that Kansans expect of you. And you know, listening to them, what they have to say, where they're going. There are a lot of great things happening in the state. There are some fantastic things to build on. With two months remaining as governor, Collier says he's not done leading Kansas just yet. He thinks that the state economy has made progress since he took office, and he hopes to keep that momentum going. My big emphasis is on growing jobs in the state, and I'll continue to recruit businesses and expanding existing Kansas businesses so that we have higher wages and we have more capital investment. And I did reach out to Governor-elect Laura Kelly as well, but she declined to be interviewed for this story. Live from the Capitol, Hannah Brandt, KSNT News. All right, Hannah, thank you very much.